Real life, real stories, life lessons with Esther Joseph. Guys, two things. Um, she's come down from Apostle. She goes by a prophetess, Deanna Dixon. So I beg your pardon. Yeah, she's come down just um, in January. She goes by prophetess, Deanna Dixon. And then um, the scripture that I talked about in Matthew 6, 25. Okay, when Jesus tells us not to worry about what to eat, what to wear and etc. Okay, so it's Matthew 6, 25. I beg your pardon. I think I said 24, but it's the one down, 25. Okay. Hope you're blessed. Hope you enjoyed the um, video. God bless you. Speak soon. See you soon. Adasa. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope all is well. How are you guys? Hope all is well. Hope you are blessed. Yes, we are in February. February. Today's what? Wednesday? No. Yeah, today's Wednesday, the 3rd of February. Congratulations for those that are crossed over, meaning that you know you're with us, you're living, you're kicking. We give thanks all the we thanks we give thanks to God. We give Him all the glory. So that's what I was trying to say. We thank Him for every good thing that He's doing to come and and is okay. So how are you guys? Um, January I put up the book of John and. Um, I decided well i prayed on it and i decided that um i'll come back and as the holy spirit leads i'll touch on three topics in the book of john okay so i did say in um january to read the book of john those that have got time you know readers you know, chapter day it's up to you so today what i'm going to discuss is what the holy spirit when i was reading the book of john there's topics that he highlighted for me to talk about and today we're going to talk about that um, topic yeah and um, he's also given me a a book for um february which i'll put up later on yeah and um follow me in that book every month we're just going to get into the word we're just going to get into the word you know and um first of all i thank you for all my um subscribers thank you so much god we richly bless you guys i am praying for you guys and i pray that you know you do get into the word of god and i pray that i'm encouraging like last month was john i want to give you this month's um one i'll put it up yeah um just get into the word we're in a lockdown we're in a lockdown you know working from home you got that time like when you clock off you you know get into the word of god um the, the one I'm going to do this month is going to bless your socks off. Seriously. You know, if you do it, it's going to bless your socks off. So, yes. Yeah, so, that's what I'll be doing. I'll put um, the book for this month, what we're going to be reading. Yeah. And then, um, what else? Today's topic. So, basically, what I'm going to be doing, yeah, by the grace of God, I'll be putting up, like last month, I just said to you, it was the book of... Um, we're coming into praying. We are going to pray because I know I normally start with prayer, but I just want to explain. Last month, we done the book of John. So I'll be coming back with free topics. If it's free topics, it's free. To I'm not going to this today's for, for last month. Yeah, for John, it's going to be free today. We're going to touch one. So I'll come back and touch what the Holy Spirit's pointed out to me to talk about. OK, so that's what we're going to do today. So first and foremost, let's just go into prayer and invite the Holy Spirit. And um, yeah, let's just pray about the airways, the the um, the video, everything. Spirit the living God, we give you the glory. For Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Father God, we thank you for a new day. We thank you for a new month. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the things that you're doing. Holy Spirit, come, Lord Jesus, come and have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way through me, Lord. Spirit, the living God, we invite you right now into this live. We cover the live in the precious blood of Jesus Christ and everybody in the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for your um, 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 subscribers, Lord Jesus. We plead them in the precious blood of Jesus Christ and we thank you for what you're doing this set time. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Um, we also pray for those you've either had COVID or you know you've you're ha you've either had it or you have it. We pray for you. We um we um put you in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. My prayers are with those that have had COVID or you've or, or you have it right now. We pray for you, and you know I plead you in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So guys, as I was reading um the book of um John. 
Um, I love it. I love the book of Joel. But um, like I already talk about Sabi Girls, but the Lord is like, no, touch this one. So maybe he's pumping me more for the, the one that I really like, you know, but let's just touch this one. So basically, um, I came across um, da -da 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 John 2, 13. Yeah, John 2, John 2, 13. I'm not going to read the scripture first. Yeah, I'm going to like tell a story and yeah. So um, yeah, so it's John 2, verse 13. Yeah, down to 16. But we'll talk about that in a minute. So basically, in, in the, that John 2, 13 to 16, Jesus goes into the temple and he sees that um, they were selling and buying and, you know, making the house of God a merchandise. Like, Jesus is like, huh? He was so angry. And we need to understand, we've never seen him lose it. In the whole of, if you watch um, Jesus of Nazareth, the film, we've never seen him lose it. And he's always telling his disciples, whoa, back up. Like, you know, don't come out of character. But that day, Jesus came out of character. Jesus came out of character. So then when I was reading it, I was like, damn, like, you know, we've come off. <laughs> we've come, we're far from what um, Jesus was telling us to do. We've gone from selling by exactly what they were trying to do then so if we say that we are ministers of the gospel what are we doing i remember one time guys i said to a woman of god she was like oh what's wrong with you like well you, you don't want to do anything in the church and did it you come you go you come you go and i said to her i see this place as a movie like i'm not here no i said to her i'm not here for show business because to me, it just looked like the choir, everything stage, everything, everything that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, church starts at this time. And I'm thinking to myself, what happened when church starts on the Holy Ghost's time? Yeah, because that's the church that I was used to. That's the church that I went to. That's the, that's the church that I was introduced to. Yeah, that the old man would say um, the program will finish at this time, but the Holy Ghost will do his own thing. So when this first lady, and I don't know about that either, the whole first lady stuff, because it's not, it's not in the scriptures. So we, we really just need to repent and just go back to older. Okay. So basically, um, you know, the lady was asking me, what's up with you? Da, 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 da. Um, and I told her straight, I'm not down with all this staging and it's just all, it's show business. Because the, the, the God that I was spending time with in my secret place, was subtle, was telling me about winning souls, was um, the Holy Spirit was telling me about winning souls, the Holy Spirit was telling me about giving, the Holy Spirit was like very loving and compassion and like worried about his people. And then when I was going to the church, I'm seeing like CDs are for sale, this is for sale, that is for sale, this is for sale, um, classes are for sale, like... Uh, uh, guys you've been in the church you know what i'm talking about yeah we're in 2021 now yeah so you just think before all these lockdowns the way you go into a church and they're selling the most like people will even start bringing in their brands aloe vera this that that in the church like you see these things happening in the church to the point some people even bring purses bags and start selling yeah this is the scripture that i come up by and i was like yeah we we're far from god's and I'm not being rude, like, let there be a lockdown. Let there be, let there be a reality, a reality check on us. Because we are the church. I've always said to you, stop thinking of the building. Us as the people, we are the church. Yeah? We've let this mentality of the world bringing things into the... Do you know what, yeah? A woman of God, I'm going to put her um, link down below, yeah, in the description box as well, because I love her message how um you know i'm gonna get into it as well because we're doing all this selling and buying in the church and neglecting um the the, the generation the young generation but i'm gonna get into that but what i was saying is um what was i gonna say i was gonna say do you know do you know what was i gonna say holy spirit bring it back 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 so basically what I'm trying to say is that 
we we have focused so much on this prosperity church and um you know doing so much to the point oh that's what i was gonna say thank you holy spirit do you know when i was younger when i was ah oh, i'm talking about i don't even know but i don't even know my aunt old you know auntie like a grandma kind of thing she used to take his church yeah back in those days babes i'm thinking I'm, this is the 80s yeah back in those days the church had power the world will ask the church what to do. They they needed permission to ask the, the, the you know, what do we do in this community? When did, what do we do this? And, you know, the church had authority. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, somehow, the world came in and then the church lost the authority. So now, the church looks like the world. Guys, I'm telling you, I remember one time, yeah, I'm just sharing with you because I want you to wake up. I remember one time I was taking pictures. I would like to take pictures on a Sunday. Holy Spirit said to me, what are you doing? And I was like, huh? Like, God didn't like it. Because basically, number one, you're taking a, you're, like, what what happens in the, in the church is a spiritual thing, yeah? And then I'm taking pictures and, and putting it on Instagram and then you're showing the world, What's going on in the church? It was never meant to be like that, guys. We're not supposed to be putting our churches, I mean, um, phones, cameras, taking, you know, taking um, pictures of the service while the service is going on. Because this stuff is, it's like, you know, it, it's it's personal. It's the, we, we've let too much worldly things in. We've let too much worldly things in, guys. Yeah. Jesus went crazy. Jesus is, if you watch Jesus of Nazareth or Compassion of Christ, Jesus was calm. Or oh, read your Bible. Read the Bible. Jesus was calm. But this day, he lost it. He was upset. He was like, how dare you guys? Yeah? And this is where we are. This is where we are. We're doing the most in church. We're doing the most. So we're, disobe we're being disobedient in that area. Selling, buying in the church. In the church okay so now let me talk let me um, touch a, another area okay so now why we're worried about prosperity and um and um buying and selling in the church yeah guess what our kids are doing the bag the bag the bag they want to be the next um um what's it rapper or um what else is there out there you know what okay rapper there's rappers there's footballers okay okay like listen there's nothing wrong with being these things or a hundredpreneur you know they're so they're chasing the bag that's the word i want to use here they're chasing the bag let me tell you something disclaimer 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 there's nothing wrong with being a footballer there's nothing wrong with even rapping the, the talent of rapping but it's what you're rapping about do you understand and you being a footballer there's your if you're old christian this is this is if you're a christian I'm talking to Christian boys that you, your parents have raised you as a Christian and you're a Christian. Does your money glorify Jesus Christ? Does your money go back into things that are going to help God's kingdom? So now, why we, the older generation, are playing church, um, prosperity churches, the young ones are chasing the bag in the world. So now when they're chasing a the bag, they're just thinking about, it's about money. The whole, listen, we are far from God because we've made it about the bag. The church has made it about the bag. Then the outsiders made it, the worldly people made it about the bag. So you've got a generation now, that's all their language. The bag, the bag, it's about money. It's about money. Yeah. Seriously, if you talk to these young people, all they care about is the bag. That's all they care about. Yeah, my bag, my bag. Even the, the, the way they talk about it, gotta get my bag. Oh, it's all about my bag. The bag is the money, guys. Those that don't understand the, the slang or the street words that these kids talk about. Yeah. But we are supposed to, as Christians, we're supposed to be nurturing this generation and letting them know about Jesus and letting them know about your soul. Where is your soul going? after all this and the bible says as well what does it prof um prof what does it profit and um, profit sorry guys what does it profit a guy to gain the whole world and lose your soul 
profit what does it profit a guy or man a person to win the whole world and lose your soul where's your soul going where's your soul going guys you might sit there and think eh, I, well we got bills to pay we got this to do we don't you don't you think jesus knows that once again he says in matthew 6 um matthew 6 24 around there yeah he says hang on a minute let me not even say around there because you know you got some people like uh, Matthew. Let's go there. He says in Matthew six. I think it's twenty four. Yeah. Sorry, guys, because I I don't I I want it to be the word of God. Yeah, because I know some of you people come up here and say, but wait, I've got bills to pay. He says. Um, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, where is it? Um, it's, okay, so it says in Matthew six twenty five, yeah. Therefore, I say to you, it's in red. So that's Jesus speaking. Okay, it's in red. That's, uh, so it says, it says, therefore, I say to you, I get excited. I say to you, Esther, you say your name to you, Esther. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will, or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. It's not life more than food and the body more than clothing. God is saying, he's got you. He's got you, yeah? He knows why you're here. He knows what you need. By his word, he just said it. In John, I mean in Matthew um, 6, 24, okay? So he knows what you need before you even ask. So when we're all chasing bags, careers, and um, trying to be entrepreneurs and chasing everything else, about the apart from the person that made you apart from the person that knows what's good for you yeah i know we're in a we're in a world where they've lied to us guys they've lied to us yeah have your kids uh, um, send them to school so after primary school secondary school secondary school uni have you ever stopped and said you know what what did what did god say what did how did god originally want this to be yeah and I'm going to do another video about the mum and dad in the house. I'm going to do that one, because, but it's not for today. Today, we're going to concentrate on the the um, the bag, you know, the church is um, selling and buying in the church. And then our children are running also up for like, you know, to be a celebrity, to be like these Hollywood, um, you know, um, Holly, Hollywood um, celebrities, you know. Talking about Hollywood celebrities, please, let's, let's remember Kanye and West in prayer. Yeah, let's remember him in prayer. Seriously, I've been praying for this man and I just want saints, proper Christians that know how to pray, intercessors, pray for this man, you know, seriously. Pray for this man. God has a plan for his purpose, but people just think, oh, we haven't heard from him and, and that's it. No, pray for Kanye and West and do not believe the hype what's, what's been um, on Insta social media. Yeah, please. Pray for the man's um, well-being. Disclaimer. So, basically, that's where we're at. Yeah. I look at this generation and I just see chasing a bag, chasing a bag. They don't care. They just don't care. And I pray that it, this video gets into the right hands. Yeah. Stop and think in these lockdowns. Where is my soul going in the end? Like, if, if today, like, Jesus decides that it's your time out. Are you going to heaven? Are you going to hell? Yeah, because these things do exist. But it's like, people, the church is playing, like, they're playing, they're not doing what God tells us to do. Yeah, Jesus wants his children. Jesus wants his people. We are his children. No matter how old you are, we are his children. Yeah, God wants to know you. Jesus wants a relationship with you. Yeah, Guys, if you've got your life together, fine, good, good for you. But you know what? Tell someone else about Christ. If you say, yes, Esther, I know Jesus Christ. I have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Fine, 
tell some win souls this is a time for us to win souls for the kingdom of god yeah if you go back on one of my other videos i i, I had a dream about the rapture kind of thing but my rapture was that the buses were leaving you know but what i'm trying to say today is guys we've been lied to it's not about the bag guys it's not about the bag it's it, it, all this selling and buying in the church God is not happy about that. And anyway, he's gonna, he started last year. He's condemning those that think that it's, they're gonna play him and get away with it. No, 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 no. He's exposing, he's exposing. Because what you've done, you've not only just um, hurt his children in the church and lied to them and um, gave them a false doctrine of buying and selling, which is, that's not what he came for and that's not what he died for, yeah? And I'm gonna get to that scripture, guys, yeah? Because what originally that he told us to do, prophets, pastors, apostles, teachers, yeah? And the list goes on. He said, yeah, in, um, oh, we're in Matthews again. He said in Matthew 28, this is what the Lord told us to do, yeah? He said, and once again, guys, it's in red. Those are new beginners, yeah? When it's in red, it's Jesus himself talking, okay? So Jesus said in Matthews, um, Matthew 28, okay? Um, we're still in the book of John, so don't think why she in Matthews. I'm giving you guys some doctrine. I'm giving you the word so you can understand. Okay, all right. So he said, "All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth." <clears throat> People better wake up. All authority has been given to Jesus in heaven and on earth. So nineteen, go therefore. And make disciples of all nations. Did he say go and get the bag? Did he say go and be rich? Did he say chase Hollywood? Did he say be an Instagram influencer? Yeah. Did he say like, you, you've got some um, people that are cocky, yeah? UK, we say cocky. Someone could say, well, did he say to be a YouTuber? I'm not trying to be a YouTuber. I come here and tell you what God is telling me. I'm not trying to do anything, yeah? So I'm talking to that cocky person that will turn around and say, did he tell you to be a YouTuber? I'm not trying to be a YouTuber. Because if I was trying to be a YouTuber, my children would just tell you, I would have started this thing a long time. If it was my idea, I would have started it a long time. It's not my idea. God told me to do this. So let's go there. That's for someone. I don't even know who that's for. So um, he said, go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. If you're not getting baptized in what I've just said, you better just run. He said, let me say it again. Yeah. If you're not getting baptized in what I just said, you better run. So he said here, Jesus said, Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And I am, I am with you always, even to the end of age. That was Matthew 28 verse 18 to 20. Guys, the reason why I um, read that is because I want you to understand this is what God told us to do. This is what God told us to do. He said, go out there and baptize and teach, yeah, the scriptures, the word of God, which is him, which is Jesus, yeah. His commandments, his promises to us. We are not supposed to be chasing no bag. We are not supposed to be doing buying and selling and trying to tell people, um, so, 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 so into this word, so into this miracle. That is the same terms, guys. Jesus went crazy about all he's trying to bring money and business in the church. And this is how we lost the authority. We lost the authority because the church came in and said, yeah, we'll give you some cash. Yeah. And those people are like, all right, this is good. Not knowing that. The serpent went to Eve. Do this. It looks good. It looks shiny. Yeah. Guys, let's wake up, man. Let's wake up. 
And the only way you're going to wake up is to spend time in the word of God. That's the only way you're going to wake up. We're in the third lockdown. After school, after college, like everything is done online now. Yeah. Spend some time with Jesus. Don't glorify whatever you see on social media, whatever you've heard, whatever else is going on. I call it Egypt. That's just me. I call it Egypt. Yeah. I don't glorify what goes on in Egypt. Yeah. I spend time with Jesus. I get into the scriptures. I let the scriptures wash me, cleanse me and take it back. Take it back. Lord, what are you saying for today? Father God, I thank you for waking me up today. Speak to your maker. Yeah. But this, listen, I am speaking to people that are tired. You're tired of getting taken advantage of. You're tired of, you're reading the scriptures, but the scriptures is not adding up to like these so-called people that are saying that, yeah, I'm a prophet, I'm a minister, I'm an apostle, I'm this. Get into the word of God because Jesus wants to have a relationship with you through the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And then that will give you your confidence. Once you're in that word of God, that will give you your confidence that, you know what? This is what I need to do. And this is what I'm going to do. And you're not going to listen to no one apart from the Holy Spirit. And then once your, your, your faith is, um, your confidence is up, you, people come and identify and tell you what Jesus has been telling you, which the Holy Spirit has been telling you to do. Yeah. But running and running and focusing on the cares of this world, it's not the one, guys. It's not the one. It's not the one. I'm, I want to love people back to Jesus. That's what I want to do. I want to take win souls back to Jesus. Have that peace. Nothing else should matter apart from your, from your relationship with God. Someone could be sitting there saying, what, you want me to be with God all, all day? No, I'm not. I just want you to... Put him first. If you're born again, if you're a born again Christian, put him first. If you say you love Jesus, not by once a week on your social media or your Instagram, put a, a post that uh, I love Jesus or or God loves me or whatever that I see on um, social media. Yeah. Jesus said that um, on that day, they'll say, Lord, 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 I cursed that um, demons for you. I did this for you. And he says, move away from me because I didn't know you. Yeah, I pray that this video gets into the right hands. I pray that people will repent. I pray that there'll be forgiveness of sins, that you ask God to forgive you for your sins. I pray that you will take up your helmet of salvation. Yeah, and just start with Jesus. Seriously, just give your life to Christ. Yeah, there's nothing in this world that, that I, I, you haven't seen or you haven't gone through. Like, it's just... It's just time to just focus on the things above. Focus. Somebody can be like, I always refer because some people just different levels. Somebody can be like, focus on things above. Yes, above. The word of God. That's what Jesus says. He tells us to focus on things above. Yeah. All right. We're not going to be in this world forever. We're not going to be in this world forever. And you know what? I always say, when I talk about the church, I always apologize yeah on behalf of the building the church that's destroyed so many people's fate that's destroyed the confidence in god yeah that's destroyed the like all your hope that you just had in jesus or the holy spirit or what you thought church was and then you got took an advantage or there's some church hurt i apologize all i can say to you guys is get into the word of god get into the word of god get into your word yeah that's all I can say. Let the word wash you. The word is your deliverance, you know. The word, yes, sometimes I put on deliverance um, ministers on here. But you know what? Like sometimes I, I recommend them. But the word, the word will wash you. If you spend time with God, I'm telling you, through the word of God. Yeah. And you know what as well? What just came into my spirit? Have time with this Bible because there's going to be a time where they're going to take it. They're going to take them away. Wherein, if you see how the laws are changing, yeah, if you see how things are changing, spend time in this word because there's going to be a time when you, you're you going to need it. You're going to need it for your fate. You're going to need it. And what else I do is, I don't know, this is for someone, yeah. Let's just say that, um, you know, you're a new beginner. Get some of these and, you know, put, let me put an easy one. 
put um, John 316 and put it on your vision board and just put them around and just like start just saying them out loud, just remembering them. Because I'm telling you guys, you're going to need the word of God. You're going to need the word of God. You're going to need it. You're going to need the word of God. So I'm going to end now, but I just pray that this video gets to the right person. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also put a, a link yeah, um, of a video so you can check out this woman of God. Follow her if you can. Get onto her videos because you think Esther's raw. <laughs> you think I bring it like, yeah, like this woman's hard. You're going to check out my mental. She just... She just gives it to it as, as it is. She says it as it is. And there's no apologies. I'm going to put this woman of God down. Yeah. Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Okay. I hope you're blessed. I'm going to be using uh, um, some more of her videos. Because um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Because there's a spirit out there of familiar, familiarity. Yeah. Some people think, I know her. I was, I was with her 20, 20, 20, whatever. I was with her. No, you weren't with me last year, but maybe you was with me in 219. Or maybe you was with me five years from there. You don't know me. Jesus knows me, okay? And the same Bible that I read, it says in um, Corinthians, yeah? 2 Corinthians 5, 17, okay? It says the past is gone, yeah? I'm new in Jesus Christ yeah okay so because of that familiarity yeah let's go there family co-friends that knew you in the past they're looking at your old you i know her i know her and because you don't have a relationship with jesus you cannot identify and say she's a woman of god so i don't have the problem you have the problem you need to get into your if you're a christian that's if you're a Christian, if you're a born again Christian and you want to challenge God that is she a woman of God, go to your what go to your prayer closet. Go to your prayer closet. Yeah? The whole the same Holy Spirit. If your life is holy, if you fast, if you pray, if you worship, if you seek God, He will tell you, that's my child. And I'm not bragging, guys. I'm just confident in the Holy Spirit. Okay? Because of that familiarity. I will be using my mentor, people that are, um, uh, are pushing me, supporting me in my um, calling for the kingdom of God. So you guys know that it's not just Esther. Yeah, it's not just Esther. Okay, we are called to make sure what I've just read to you, Matthew 28, yeah, verse, sorry guys, verse 18, yeah. To make sure that people are baptized. That is the commission. That is the mandate. Yeah. Souls back to Jesus. People are, are baptized in the Holy Ghost. No, the Holy Spirit. It's the same thing, guys. But what I'm saying to you is to win souls for the kingdom of God. Yeah. So now, because of that spirit of familiarity that you think you know me and you don't know me. Yeah. Now, I, I, I'm going to put up women of God, men of God that have been in this game longer than me, yeah, so now if those ones that accept that, yeah, Esther is a woman of God, we can roll on my channel and we can grow together, but then those ones that think they know and they're like, ah, Esther, 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 I'm going to put on the women of God that have been more experienced than me and men of God more experienced than me and these are from the fruit there's no trickery. There's no, you will see for yourself. If you're, if you have the Holy Spirit, your spirit's going to agree with these people that I'm going to be putting up on here. Yeah. Cause it's the same gospel. It's the same principles that they are preaching. Okay. All right. But the woman of God, she doesn't take no nonsense. Some other ones I can um, bring, bring up. They might be a bit more, you know, not as hard. The message is not as hard, but me, I like that kind of teaching. I like mentors that are hard. So then you know that you know, the, the respect is there, don't get too familiar, respect the anointing, you know, because the Bible says, touch not my anointing once, do my prophet no harm, okay, so yeah, I love this woman of God, she's amazing, her testimony is amazing, and I'm going to share with you guys, if you've got time, like the one that I'm going to put up, listen to that one in the um, description box, I'll put the link there, the uh, um, prophetess Deanna Dixon, I am telling you, her testimony alone, 
will make you want to give your life to Christ. Because how can someone go through so... This is what I, this is what I don't understand, yeah? How can someone go through so much and be standing? It's only God. It's only... And even me, I haven't even touched my testimony with you guys. I come on, I say a little bit. I come on and I say a little bit. We have been through so much and it's only the power of God. It's only the Holy Spirit that has kept us to tell the story. Yeah? So I pray that you're blessed. I'm going to put the link underneath and I'll share some other videos of hers that the Lord has given, like, you know, she's given me permission and the Lord has told me to share as well. I think the, the, the next one also is going to be in church. This one I'm going to share with you is on church, but it's also about winning souls. It's also about young kids getting into rapping and getting into all sorts of stuff. And, and you know, who's telling them? Who's telling them about Jesus? Who's telling them about it's not? That's not the, it's not the most important thing to be you focusing on your goal. It's good to have a goal. It's good to have some something you want to be in life, but that's not the most important thing. Jesus Christ is the most important thing for you to make heaven, for your name to be written, it written in the book of life. Yeah? Let's love people back to Jesus. Let's love people back to Jesus, seriously. You know, and I said, because of that familiarity, somebody's been with you in the past and they think they know you so much. No, bro. When you get, when you have a relationship with Jesus, it starts cutting off certain things off your life. Yeah. There's some people I've had to just, you know, um, um, get connected with. Yeah. So they can see Jesus in me. Yeah? They're probably like, oh, oh, what, what does she want? Like, what, what? And I'm just showing you love. I'm showing you love. I'm showing you Jesus. Yeah. Yes, one time I used to be mouthy and feisty and God knows what else. But you know what? Jesus is saying to me, you better go and tell people what I've done in your life. You better go and preach my word, Esther. Yeah. Time's running out. I'm not, I'm not here to finesse or hating people and and you know be quizzing and you know you know some people are like is she is she really is she born again is she not you've all got time <laughs> you've all got time yeah the days are running out guys yeah we are in okay let me let me just quickly touch it quickly disclaimer noah God spoke to Noah for a dream, do this, do that, do this. Noah was telling the people, this is happening, this is what's going to happen. No one was listening to Noah. Didn't it rain? Didn't a lot of people, the, 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 the rain took a lot of people. Didn't that happen? Who was saved? Wasn't it Noah and his family and those that listened? And the animals? Okay, let's do another one. Now, um, da -da -da -da, so Sodom and Gomorrah, yeah? Um... Didn't Abraham say, but wait, um, my brother or my cousin, um, Lot was there, yeah? And then the Lord said, okay, I'll spare Lot, yeah? But this is what I'm going to do, yeah? And he did it. He destroyed that whole um, town, nation, or whatever it was, yeah? So that now when God comes and when God sends his prophets or prophetess or um, apostles or teachers or whoever to spread the word or to tell you what's the season's, I beg you guys go back to your go back to your secret place ask God is this person talking from you yeah is this person talking from you or and this is is she from you yeah test the spirit I'll, I'll put the scripture down as well okay test the spirit it's in John okay always test the spirit when people come up here and proclaim that Jesus Christ always ask the Holy Spirit show me that person is this person from you okay so yeah that's another one but um, guys it's just a passion that i have people need to know jesus give your life to jesus yeah i apologize that the church made it about seriously i was just in january reading my um my um the book of john over and over again that's what i did january read it over and over again and then boom god said this this is what they've made it about this is what i'm angry about and it was john 2.13. Actually, we're going to close on John 2.13 because that, that was the discussion about buying and selling. And then I went to um, how in church it was about buying and selling. And then the kids, the, the generation of today, that's all they know about a bag. And they don't care how they need to make that bag. You know, they're just trying to be rich out here. And that's not what Jesus didn't tell us to be rich, you know. 
Jesus didn't tell us to be rich. Jesus did not tell us, go out there and be rich. Go out there and be successful. Jesus, did, I just told you what he said. I just told you, Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20, what he said. Okay, I'll put that up as well. Um, okay, so now we will go on to... Da -da 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 -da, what, you know, remember I said to you, I'll be coming. So this is the one, yeah, um, the topics. So... We read in um, January, the book of John. And then this is one that I was talking about today. The buying, the selling, the children going for the bag as well. Money, 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 money. And that's it's, we're far from God. That's not what it's about. It's not what it's about. The bag, let your bag go and help the poor. Jesus says, those that take care of the poor have took care of him. Our business is to take care of the poor. If we're chasing bag... That's even another story. So let's just go there, okay? So um, the one that I got was um, the one that I got was um, John two. John two. Thirteen, okay. Watch this, guys. So he goes um. Yeah, John, John two, John, chapter two, thirteen. When it was amongst time for the for the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Fourteen in the temple courts, he found men selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and other others sitting at the exchanging money. So fifteen. So he made a whoop, whip, whoop of cords and doves, all from the temple area. Both sheep and cattles he scattered the coins of the of the money changes and overturned their tables 16 to those who sold doves he said get these out of here how dare you are you listening this is to you guys you know men of god and women you first ladies that i think that it's about a bag Sow this miracle, ring in for this, um, sow this for here, sow this word for here, sow into this word, do this, did it, did it, money, this video, buy this CD, did it, did it. So much business exchanging in church, you know, and it wasn't, that was not God's original plan. It wasn't. Let me read on. So Jesus said, and I said to you guys, when it's in red, it's Jesus talking. So it's not Esther's word. This is God's word. How dare you turn my father's house into a marketplace? How dare you turn my father's house into a marketplace? Some would say marketplace, some would say market. Or merchandise. Some says merchandise as well. So guys... You've heard it yourself. Jesus is not pleased. Jesus is not pleased. Okay. Right. That's John. John 2 verse 13. Yeah. All the way down to 16. Yeah. He wasn't happy, guys. Jesus was not happy. And you know what? Like, when when I um, look back, I used to go to churches and think, what's this? Because I used to think, why are they sailing in there? But if you read the Bible and you go into these churches, the scriptures will come up. Certain things will prompt your spirit. Like, what's this all about? Yeah? Sell it. Once again, when I was young, a church was a place where from what I remember, they'll give people food if you're poor. They'll, you know, they'll, they were community. It was there to help. But now it's like, you guys, let me tell you something. This is going to, it's just come up. Let me just, disclaimer, let me just tell you something. Because it's, it's something I went through, yeah? One day I went to the library. Yeah, I was just cleaning off some time. I went to the library. This was about two years ago. Guys, I found a woman, a, like... She's old enough to be my grandma, yeah? And I was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? She was distressed. She's like, oh, oh. She... 
we can't use a computer. We, you know, because these are the times when things are going to, to computer. Do you understand? And I was like, oh, don't worry. Don't be upset. Da -da 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 -da. Um, let me help you. Eric. Guys, I bought the woman a cup of tea. Then she started telling me all her, like, um, you know, the church just took all her money. And she was doing direct debit. And she didn't have nothing left over. And then, you know, like old woman and I, I think it was the time where things were going over like um computer like going like everything so she couldn't use a computer what what babes guys i was troubled and i think because it was a time where i just after i lost my mom the hate for church came even more yeah because i i i'm gonna do my 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 video on church hurt yeah i'm gonna do it but um I was like, what? The woman, she done a direct debit to church, guys. But in her hour of need, she, it was one problem, housing, this, that. The church couldn't even help her. I was so upset, guys. I left that library crying, but I did what I could. And those that know me, I prayed with that woman. I prayed with that grandma, you know. I prayed with her. And I was like, I was just hurt. Because I know that that's not the Jesus. That 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 the, the way this church has tried to make things about money, money, money. That is not of Jesus. Yeah? That is not of Jesus. Jesus don't rob little old women. Yeah? And make them do direct debit and all this nonsense. Yeah? But my thing was, where was the church for her time in the need? Because I was like, can't you? I'm not even going to say the church, guys. Big church. I'm not going to say. And I was like, can't you ask them for help? No, no, I can't. You know? And what I had is what I dealt with. What I had, what, what I can do there and then is what I done. Yeah? I hugged that woman and I was so upset, guys. So upset. Sitting there. She don't know how to use a computer. Everything is just too much for her. Yeah? The woman was in debt, guys. Can you imagine your grandma? Your grandma sitting there upset, tight, tearful, papers, all papers on the table. She's trying to use a computer. It's not her times. I was upset, y'all. I was upset. I was upset. But you know what? They didn't take Jesus from her. She still loved Jesus. She still loved Jesus. She was in debt. She was in housing. Ooh, sorry guys i apologize sorry um everything was um up and down for her but you know what we prayed and she still had her her love for christ she still had her love for christ listen guys i don't know what to tell you i don't even know why i said that story disclaimer all my all my videos disclaimer i tell you guys stories because i want you to know jesus christ loves you he's not here to rob anybody yeah and just get closer to god so you're not robbed from anything he will tell you where to give he'll tell you when to give he'll tell you if it's necessary to give he will deal with you where you're at guys i love you guys so much and once again i apologize if any churches have took um, advantage of anyone that comes across this um video and I, I don't know where the, the, the lady is because, you know, I, we didn't exchange numbers. I just quickly helped her and, you know, and it was even before these lockdowns. Yeah. So what was that? 218, 2018, you know, but um, disclaimer, I pray that she's fine wherever she is, if she's still here with us. And um, guys, let's focus on Jesus. I, I've said what I have to say because of the book of John. And the scripture that we just read, which was um, John 2, 13, down to 16. But I'm going to put the woman of God. Yeah, I, please though, please tap on this link. Listen to this woman. Listen to this woman because I've made it. And she's not bashing. She's just, everybody's character is different. She's just straightforward. Every, I'm very like that as well. Bold and, you know, if, if you don't know the person per se, you might feel, oh my God, angry black woman cancel that in jesus name no we're not angry black women we're just passion it's just passion for christ passion for souls yeah it's just passion 
okay no one's angry we're just trying to get the message but once you ah, uh, once you fall in love with jesus it's just it's just ah, uh, serious yeah i don't care who did what to me that's not even important i've let people go i'm worried about where is your soul going do you know jesus huh do you know jesus that man from galilee do you know him yeah and then there's another song um um, isn't it enough that Jesus, I don't want no argument with nobody. Isn't it enough that Jesus died for me, you know, and he just gives you this peace. He gives you a peace that you're just like, ah, oh. and you know what? He said it, the world cannot buy this peace. The world cannot buy this peace. Guys, love you. Um, God bless you. I gotta go. Um, God bless you so much. Thank you for listening. Um, you know, all my videos, there's always a chance. And I'm actually going to put up the um, the prayer for, um, you know, for repentance. Yeah, for deliverance, repentance, to give your life to Christ. I'm going to actually pull it up. Um, second of all, um, forgiveness of sins is always at the end as well. Um, scriptures, I'm going to put them up in the description box. Guys, please, I am begging you. Get close to Jesus. Just repent. Give your life to Jesus. Talk to your children. Talk to talk, talk to your. If you're uh, like, if you know the times, and you have a relationship with Jesus, talk to your children about the times. So things don't come, and they're like, oh, they're scared. And what are you talking about? It. Talk to your children. Do Bible studies in your house. Do Bible studies in your house with your children. I remember one time my cousin left me with um, disclaimer. My cousin left me with um, uh, his children and got the Bible out. After some dinner in the evening, got the Bible. And I was so like, yeah, down with it. It's you. It's up to you <laughs> what you're introducing your, t your children to. Are you going to let them go in their rooms and be on them Xboxes and TVs? Or are you going to say, let's do family time. Let's sit down and read the Bible. Go, you read. After you, you read. Yeah, I don't listen. I don't even blame these children. It's down to you, parents. What are you introducing to your kids? Fun, 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 fun. Get the bag, get the bag. Yeah, be a entrepreneur, be this, be that. It's good to be something in life, it's good to be successful. But what, what did I say to you earlier? The Bible says, What does it profit a person to be, gain the whole world and lose your soul? Don't make sense. Hell is real. <laughs> In case you didn't know. But um, I love you guys. I wish you well. Happy February. I pray that you get everything you want in this February. I pray that you keep Jesus Christ first through the Holy Spirit. I pray that God visits you. I pray that um, if you have any testimonies, drop them, drop them down. Like, subscribe, comment. And yeah, I cover you guys in the precious blood of Jesus. I'm going to put the video down of Apostle Deanna Dixon. Just click the link down be below and listen to the woman of God's got to say. Guys, let me say something as well. If you are connected to people in the music industry, people in football, people in these big entertainment places, yes, yeah, celebrities, tell them about Jesus. Because God's going to say to you, why don't you tell that person about me? Yeah. If you're a Christian and you have access to them, tell them about Jesus. Guys, I pray for Kanye West. I don't even know Kanye West, but I pray for him all the time because God said to me, pray for Kanye West. I don't need to know why. I just do it. So how much more you, you have a celebrity around you and you're chatting with him every day. Hey, 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 hey. So what, you do Jesus behind closed doors and then you can't tell your friends about Jesus? Nah, bro. Talk about Jesus. Talk about his love. Spread the gospel. Let people know jesus christ because one day we're gonna all be asked okay i gave you um i'm gonna end with this i'm gonna end with this um matthew 25 the talents god gives everybody talents and then he says what did you do with what i gave you and one of them says oh, i buried it uh -uh. <laughs> you did what we're all gonna be we're gonna be judged the giftings anything you know that you are capable to do and you haven't done it hmm. Especially if Jesus has told you, start, start that ministry, start, start this, 
start. You know you got a whole you know that you have a relationship with God, the Holy Spirit, and he's told you I was like that. I was like that. I had so many reasons not to start. Oh, I can't read, I can't write, I can't this. I made up so much excuses and the Holy Spirit was like, ah. I remember one day last year, the Lord said to me, I'm not going to tell you again. God told me to start this YouTube, you know. I didn't call myself, yeah. And I was like, he done something for me to not, not even ask again. I got on with it. So, you know. And that's why I said, I pray for my subscribers, whether you hate me, like me, because I don't know. Well, God can show me if my haters are on here, you know, because that's what he does. He shows me visions. He talks to me. But that's not even about that. Yeah. I pray for everybody that is subscribed because it's a blessing. Whether you like me or not, it's a blessing. My job is to pray for those that subscribe to this channel. Yeah. That you will get to know God wherever you are. You know, so for me, I don't care if, do you know what? I don't, for me, I, I just pray. I just pray. That's it. I just pray, love, support, pray, love, support. That's it. Yeah. So God bless you guys. I've gone on, I've gone on for long, but I just wanted to really make sure that, um, the message that you guys got the message. All right, guys, God bless you to my next video. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody for subscribing. I love you guys so much and I'm praying for you guys. Let's focus on Jesus Christ and let's preach the gospel, spread the gospel, love, love, back, love people back to Jesus. Love people back to Jesus. Okay. Love you guys. Have a blessed evening. Um, yeah, Jesus Christ loves you. Till the next time. I pray that you really like this one. So this one is number one out of the book of John, okay? Then I've got another two to do. Because what I, what I explained earlier, what I'm going to be doing is um, I'll, I'll give us a book. Like I'll put February 1 up and then um, read it. And then whatever points, if it's fr for John, it was free. For the next book, it might just be one. But um, I'll come up and do another two. For the book of John, okay. So today's one, and I'm, I'm I'm really stressing it so you guys understand that it's about the word. Today's one is um John two thirteen down to sixteen, okay. God was not happy about buying and selling in the church. God is not after no one's bag. He has money in heaven. Everything, even I'm gonna end it with this. I'm gonna end it with this. Psalms twenty four verse one. The earth is the Lord's and all is fullness. He owns everything. He doesn't need nothing from you guys. He didn't need money going into the church and start selling and buying. All right, guys. God bless you. Love you. Adasa. God bless you. God bless you for watching. Like and subscribe.